welcome back to the first episode of Ringside in 2023. I'm Brooke Pierowitz, joined alongside Mick Hatton. And Mick, last weekend against the Gophers, we saw a couple of close games. How does that show for just how high of a competitor St. Cloud State is? Well, I mean, I, th I think they continue to show that it doesn't matter uh, who, who they play against. I mean, they're they're one of the top teams in the country. I mean, when when you have the top scoring team uh, in in the nation c come in and and you play against them and you hold them at two goals and one of them is an overtime three on three goal, uh, I think that's a great sign that uh, you know that they can compete with just about anybody out there. And uh, really impressive defensive showing. I mean, I think the the big thing when I was talking with uh, Aiden Spellacy after the game on Saturday, uh, he was mentioning that uh, you know they, they wanted to play north-south with them and they didn't want to get into a, a real lateral game with them. In other words, kind of keep guys in their lanes and, and that sort of thing. And I thought they did a great job of that all throughout that series. Speaking of Spellacy, he had a big goal this weekend against the Gophers. How have you seen his play evolve not only this year but since he became a Husky? Yeah, I think you know he's had a much bigger role here, you know, this season than maybe even he had last season. I think he had 18 games last season. Uh, you know, I mean, one one of the th big things with him is you know he's always a guy that's going to bring the same energy. Uh, you know, is, is a guy that uh, you know is going to do a lot of dirty work. Or, you know, a lot of stuff that guys don't want to you know don't want to do necessarily. I mean, he'll he'll play short and he'll block shots. Uh, you know, he'll do a lot of those things. He's a really good face-off guy. Uh, but, you know, we've seen a little bit more offense out of him. I and mean, We saw a huge goal out of him, obviously, on Saturday. But that was, I, I thought it was, a, I mean, it was a great line goal. Uh, Joe Molinar made a great play kind of behind the goal line. And then, uh, you know, he got a nice stick lift there from Ryan Roseboro in front of him. And then, you know, Spellacy was able to finish that off. But, uh, yeah, I mean, uh, that, that fourth line played a lot uh, and, and really played well, I thought, over the weekend. And now looking at this weekend, the Huskies look to host Colorado College. What can we expect from that game? Well, you know, Colorado College is sitting there. This is a big weekend for St. Cloud State. Uh, you know, Colorado College only a few points behind St. Cloud State in the standings. If they're going to make a run for, you know, the, the conference title, they need to come up with a lot of points this weekend. And by, by that, I don't mean necessarily goals. I mean, they have to have like five or six points out of this weekend. So, uh, you know, a big weekend for them. Uh, a team that they swept earlier this season, uh, you know, Coach Larson uh, you know, talked about the first time that they played them, he felt that they kind of got outplayed, but they came back with a lot of energy in the second game and were able to beat them. They're talking a lot about uh, getting traffic in front of Keaton Imberico, their, their goalie, uh, who's a really athletic uh, goaltender. We saw him at the World Junior Championships. Uh, that's going to be big for St. Cloud State. It's not just throwing in uh, pucks from anywhere and everywhere. They're going to have to get in front of his eyes. Well, thanks, Mick, for joining me on this episode of Rinkside. Make sure you follow Mick, SCSU Huskies underscore MH, and The Rink Live to stay up to date on this series with Colorado College.